If you're experiencing high RAM issues in Windows 11, there are a few things that you can do to try and reduce that. The first thing we're going to do is pressing Windows key plus R and we're going to type in sysdm.cpl in here to open up system properties. Now let's head over to advanced and then click the settings button under performance. Now this uh, shows a lot of the windows animations and settings that are being used so you can adjust them for either the best appearance or you can adjust them for the best performance which turns all of this off. This will make your windows look awful but it will free up a lot of different uh, services and it will give you a lot more RAM to play around with. The next thing to do is to reduce or disable any unnecessary services. So we're going to do the same thing, uh, just press Windows key, uh, key to open the start menu and search for msconfig. Go ahead and press enter. And here, now we are going to head over to the services tab and uh, we're going to check on hide all Microsoft services. And now as you can see, there are still a bunch of different services that are running on my system. For example, all of this HP that is running is just not required. Uh, these services are not required. I can disable uh, probably any desk and battle eye as well. These are anti cheats. I can disable the Mozilla maintenance service. Um, I can disable uh, a bunch of other stuff in here. So just go through this list and disable anything that does not need running on your system. Uh, in my case, I can turn off actually a lot of different things uh, that are currently running and free up more RAM for my PC. All right, next step is to disable startup apps. So we're going to press Windows key plus X and then we're going to click on the task manager. In the task manager, head over to startup apps and then just disable anything that you don't need starting up when your Windows PC boots up. For example, I have Slack, my phone link, mobile devices, Omen, um, graphic softwares, Elgato for my stream deck and a bunch of other services are running. But as you can see, I have disabled a ton of services as well. And these are services I don't want running when I start my PC. This will also help your PC boot up faster because you'll not constantly be waiting for services to start. And once your PC is up and running, it will also save you from the hassle of just running additional services that you don't need, which will be consuming all of your memory. All right, uh, last but not least, we're going to disable some non-essential Windows services. Now we're going to disable some non-essential Windows services. So press the Windows key once again, search for services and press enter. And this will open up the services window. Now in here, you're going to have to be very careful because if you close a service that you don't uh, or that something on your PC is using, then uh, you're just going to break functionality. For example, the background intelligent transfer service. Now this transfers files in the background using idle network bandwidth. So if this application is disabled, as you can read in this prompt, or if I double click this, as you can read in the description, uh, things like Windows Update or MSN Explorer will not work. So uh, if you're using uh, your PC to transfer files over a network, do not disable this. Otherwise you can go ahead and disable it just fine. You will also find some other non Windows services here as well. So you're really going to have to take your time, go through these and uh, disable anything that doesn't need starting up. For example, Epic Online Services, this can be disabled. Uh, Game DVR, this can be disabled. Uh, these gaming services can be disabled. Uh, Google Play, all of these services can be disabled. All of the HP services can be disabled on my particular PC. Your PC may vary and so on and so forth. So you can scroll through this list, check what needs running and what doesn't needs running. For example, any desk is running automatically. I don't use any desk a lot, so I can just set the startup type to manual or just disable the service altogether. Or if you're just looking to free up some space on your system that's currently running, you can just stop the service and that's it. And then you can follow this process for as many services as you need and your RAM usage should drop by a lot. 
All right, next up, we're going to enable the memory saver feature in our browser. So if you use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge or basically any other browser, there are memory store saving features in there. So just click on these three dots, head over to settings, and then we're going to performance. And uh, now you will see this memory saver option. Make sure that it is enabled. So what this does is that when you have a lot of tabs open, it will put some of your tabs to sleep and it will help save your RAM. So make sure you've toggled this option within your browser. Now, last but not least, Windows comes with a lot of bloatware and it's always a good idea to go ahead and remove it. So you're going to need a tool like the Windows 11 D bloater I've got here. I'll leave a link to download this in the description below. We've also done a video with this tool uh, explaining how you can de-bloat Windows and get it run fast. So you can go ahead and check that out if you want to look at the tool in depth. But essentially what this lets you do is that it lets you disable uh, any tools that you don't really use on Windows. For example, you don't use Cortana, you can just disable it. You can uninstall OneDrive, you can disable the Action Center, you can disable all background apps in one go. So this is something that will help you customize your PC and get rid of anything that is unnecessary rather quickly. Once again, we've done a full video on this, so go ahead and check that out for more description and more steps on how to use this but uh, that's about it that's what you can do to reduce ram consumption on windows 11. if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media and if these videos don't work out as well for you do consider getting a membership that's it for today and we'll see you in the next video